is two parts. Second Corinthians 4, 16 through 18. Everything you're facing in your life has an expiration date. It's not going to last forever. Then you look at it, and Jesus has deprived its ability to harm you, and he's conquered it for you. If we just read those two things alone right there, over and over and over throughout our day when we are discouraged, throughout our day when we are frustrated, throughout our day when we just want to throw up our hands or pull out our hair. And you say, I just give up. Our enemy, that's what he wants us to do. He wants us to get so discouraged that we give up and quit. He wants us to throw in the towel. He wants us to wave that white flag. He wants us to give him our victory. Can I say, don't do that. Don't give him Something that's not his. Jesus is our victory. Remember, one of God's names is Jehovah Nissi. Our banner or our victory. It's his name. His name means victory. He is not going to fail us. I could go on for hours in this category is ours on this revelation of God will not fail you. He will not. You can look back all these different scriptures in the Bible. Every single time it looked like God's people, they were done for. The enemy won. They had the upper hand. All hope was lost. And then God. And then God. It was like just boom. Then God. And it's like if we could just Focus on the whole thing, but God. But Julie, all these things are going on in the world. Oh, but God. Remember, all these things we see are temporary. But look at what the Biden's doing. It's temporary. Look at what all the government's doing. It's temporary. It has an expiration date. And I think he said, I think the Lord said in a prophetic word a few months ago. It might have been a few weeks ago. Because I hear so many all the time, but he says that expiration date is coming due. And um, remember he said a like he has all the cards and a certain card was going to be played. And uh, something came out uh, yesterday. Trump card. I want to read you guys a definition. Remember, things are not how they appear to be. There is a reason for that to be that announcement to be made. Uh, you would say, I want to read, because Lord is, I, I, literally, he had me look this up this morning. The definition of a trump card. An advantage that makes you more likely to succeed than other people, especially something that other people do not know about. Let me read that again. The definition of a trump card. An advantage that makes you more likely to succeed than other people. Especially something that other people do not know about. We have an advantage over our enemy because we have something they don't know about. We have God. We have his victory. We have his blood covenant. We have his promises. We have him. So certain people can take that in a certain way to make it look bad. Um, but the announcement is to let an enemy know or an opponent know I got it all. A trump card. Usually if you have a trump card in a, in a card game, you win. Right? Okay. I won't go any farther than that. 